Okay, with our app, React Native app setup and our server setup, we can actually go ahead and start doing the uploading. We'll do the most basic version here first. Uh, first, I'm gonna make sure I've got the server running on my computer so that I can actually uh, access it and we can see the logs. So going into my mobile directory into app.js, what we're going to do is create a new function called handle upload photo. And for this first one, the most basic way to upload a photo is with the fetch API. And the fetch API is something that just comes from, uh, it's basically just a standard API that web browsers in React Native implement. And basically the first argument to this is going to be the actual URL that we wanna upload to. So localhost port 3000 forward slash API forward slash upload. And then the second argument is going to be information about this request. Uh, first thing is going to be the method we want to use, and this is the HTTP method that we're going to use. And for this endpoint, it's going to be post. Remember, we set up app.post API slash upload. In addition to the method, we're going to have to set the body. And if you're used to making get request or some post requests, you might be used to just passing a stringified uh, object like this. But since we're actually uploading a image, we need to do this a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do is actually delete this and I'm going to go ahead and create a new function. I'm going to call this const uh, create form data. And our form data is going to take two arguments. The first is going to be the actual photo we want to upload. That photo is going to be what we get back as a response from our image picker. However, you're capturing the image. Really, we need to just know the URI, the type and give it some sort of name. Um, and then also we're going to go ahead and allow the user to pass some amount of body data. So this is anything else we want, like a user ID uh, to actually go to the server. We're going to allow them to pass that as well. So before we forget, let's go ahead and set this up. So for our body, we'll have it create form data. It's going to take this.state.photo. And then just as an example, we'll pass a user ID of one, two, three, uh, along with that so we can see it. So with that done, we can actually go ahead and start filling out, start filling out this create form data. And basically the way we want to do this is we'll create a new uh, variable called data. That's going to be new form data. And this form data is just going to set this up uh, in a way the server knows how to handle everything we need it to. And what we want to do here is say data.append. The first key or first argument is going to be photo. And this key is important. It needs to align with what we set on the server. Remember we said upload photo, um, that those keys need to align. That way Malter knows what to look for. This is probably gonna be common regardless of how you actually implement the uploading on your server. Those keys need to align so it knows what to look for. And then as the second argument, we'll pass an object. This object's going to take a name uh, for our specific image picker example. Uh, that's going to be Photo dot file name. It's a capital N. We're also going to want to pass the type of the photo. Um, if you don't pass this, it'll work on iOS, but it won't work on Android. So, and it just doesn't hurt. So just pass the photo dot type. That's again going to be on that photo object that we get back from Image Picker. Finally, is the most important thing: the URI to the actual image we want to upload. And there's one difference between iOS and Android that we need to make. So what I'm going to do is actually import the platform library from React Native. I'm going to say uh, if platform.os is equal to Android, then we're just going to go ahead and return the photo.uri. However, if it's iOS, we're going to say photo.uri.replace file for file colon forward slash forward slash with just an empty string. We just need to strip that file colon forward slash forward slash from this to make it work. We'll then go ahead and return the data so we can use it. Now there's one more thing that we need to do, and that's to handle this body information. So that's going to be an object with some number of keys. They can be any keys that the, the uh, developer actually needs. So what we're going to do is say object.keys, then we'll pass the body. And that's going to give us an array of the keys from the body object. And then we'll go ahead and loop over that using for each. And then the argument to this for each callback is going to be the actual key. So we can then say data.append key. So in this case, it's going to be data.append user ID. And then we can go ahead and pass whatever information is on that uh, by saying body 
at the key. Okay, so that create form data is all set up. Um, next thing we want to do is actually set up, you know, what to do once the request succeeds or the upload request or fails. And if you've used the fetch API before, you know it's all promise based. So basically, once the response or once the upload completes, we'll then do this function. Um, and we're going to get a response object back. We know our server on success is going to return a uh, JSON object back. So we can say response.json just to convert that to JSON we can use normally. And then from there, we'll again have a response of just JSON. So in here, we can go ahead and say upload success. So we'll console.log this and we'll log the uh, response. We can also say uh, upload success. We'll just alert that. And then finally, we'll go ahead and uh, basically reset the state to, so the photo is null once it's uploaded. Uh, whenever you're using promises, you always want to catch any errors that may occur. So you can say dot catch error. And in this case, we'll do the same thing, upload error. Uh, and we can log the error so we can see it in the logs. We'll cover handling failed uploads in a future video. So just um, we're just doing this kind of to make sure it's there. But we'll cover actually testing upload error cases uh, in a future video. We'll also uh, alert upload failed. And then that'll be it on the error case. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at the terminal for our actual server, which is running. And then I can choose the photo. We're displaying it. Oh, we actually need to give the user a way to upload it. So we got this handle upload photo function. Uh, we need to then go ahead and add a button to allow the user to upload it. So we'll set title is equal to upload photo. And then on press, we'll go ahead and say this dot handle upload photo. Now this is going to error because we can't return two elements next to each other. So what I'm going to do is wrap this in react.fragment. We'll save this and then we should be able to load our app. Okay, I'll choose the photo. Press upload photo. It says upload success. Let's look at our logs. Okay, you can see here, uh, basically we're responding with the size of the image, uh, path, the file name, destination, MIME type, encoding type, all this information that it's going to give us. And you can also see the body information, basically anything that wasn't uh, the photo object in the form data, will then be on this body object. So you can pass additional information along with your image. Uh, let's also just look at the image. So if we go into our server directory, into images, look in here, you can actually see the photo was successfully uploaded to our server. So that's all set. That's kind of the basic way of uploading a photo. If they've got a good connection, not really worried about keeping them up to date on progress. Fetch is a good way to do it. It's just kind of a black box where you allow the user to upload the photo and then you let them know once it succeeds.